What's good, YouTube family? It is morning, it is 8 a.m. We are gonna start this full day of what I eat to stay lean. What am I currently eating every day? Today is actually a Wednesday, so I don't typically work out today, but for this video, I'm gonna do a little cardio to show you guys what I would do if it's like a workout day. What would I typically eat before and after? So I have a podcast I actually have to shoot at nine, so it's about in 30 minutes. So I'm gonna hop on that, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So. Yeah, shout out to everything in my room right now. You know, we got shout out Bruce Lee, shout out DBZ family, shout out the boy Vegeta. But let's get out of this guy. I'll see you guys at the first official meal. Peace. All right, y'all, so the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up is I actually drink a little bit of alcohol. Now, this is key. This is actually really, I'm joking. Chill out, chill out, <laughs> chill out. Let me put this down somewhere. Okay, hold up. Put this right here. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? So. This is actually called Ningxia Red. Now, it's by a company known as Young Living. They're a big essential oils company. So they have oils like that help you sleep, help you with energy, help you with stress, help you with a lot of things. But they also have a line of food. Um, they have a line of shake powder that I love to use. I use that all the time. I actually just ran out yesterday, so F in the chat. Um, but this one right here is called Ningxia Red. <clears throat> it's basically packed with a ton of nutrients, a ton of fruit. I'll probably try to link like the picture of what's all in this up here because it's insane. It's like, it's like a crap ton of berries, a ton of like all these different kind of fruits all thrown into this. So you're getting like power of different kind of vitamins. It's insane. So you take a shot of this in the morning um, just to give you that overall um, benefit. So it says on the back here, Ningxia Red combines the extraordinary wolf berry super fruit with 100% pure essential oils and a powerful whole body nu nutrient infusion. The benefits of the legendary Ningxia wolf berry have been sought after for centuries and ongoing research continues to yield exciting new health properties. Enjoy its naturally delicious flavor daily to sustain energy and to fortify and replenish key nutrients for long lasting health and wellness. So you shake it up because a lot of it goes to the bottom and usually I don't have a shot glass so I kind of just um, waterfall it. So yeah, here's a clip of me like kind of water and falling a shot. That's about a shot, maybe a little more, but that it tastes really good too. So boom, that is what I first do in the morning before I eat anything, okay? This is it right here. Gives me that energy to go to the next meal. I'll see you there. Was good, okay, we were at the first meal. This is like my pre-workout meal. A shake, I typically drink a shake all the time. What I'm gonna be doing is I got my phone right here. I'm gonna be using Chronometer. It's an app that actually just basically shows you what you're tracking your food on and it shows you how much calories you're at, um, your goals that you're meeting for the day. So I'll be linking it somewhere up here, a picture of currently how much I'm at. I'm at 450 calories. Uh, for my shake specifically, I don't typically, I forgot the shake cup, oh my gosh. Forgot the most important part. <laughs> how am I gonna make a shake if I don't got this? All right, so, like I was saying, for my shake, I typically know what like I already am gonna put in this because I've been making them for so long now. Uh, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of what I do. So I start with, I got some baby spinach right here. I usually just take a little bit of this and throw it in there. About two small handfuls, okay? And I grab some, you gotta have the organics. You gotta have the organics. A little strawberry. I've been doing this mix lately. So strawberry, banana, peanut butter. That's what we're making. That's a key, key. So there's a little bit of that one more in there. Boom. Okay. I actually don't even think I added this to my, uh... let me scan this. I might have, I might have. That's what you do. That's... Oh, new food. Okay. So I'll have to put that one in. So we'll add that one in there. Then I use half a banana. I used to always use a full banana. Not anymore. I found half a banana was just perfect for me. And that's the thing with making your food. <clears throat> You'll find things that are perfect for you. Like for me, this, this is perfect. Like it works perfect for my energy. Um, and I'll show you the key of what I use. So then I'll put it's about a cup of almond milk. So it's about right there. Okay. And then we got a tablespoon of peanut butter. All right, it's about that right there. Obviously, this is all like rough estimates, but you know, it's pretty accurate. So, that's, 
good. Here's the key, okay? Right here. See that? Can you see it? No? Okay, well, it's called maca powder. Basically, it helps you with revitalizing energy. So I'll take a little bit of this. Like you saw the clip before this, I had that Nixure Red. If I don't have Nixure Red, I'll typically throw in some maca powder. <coughs> maca powder. I'll throw a little bit in anyways. It's only a tiny bit, about a teaspoon, but it supports energy and vitality. Um, it's multi nutty and super root. That's what it is. Promotes balance in the body. So I'll do this a little bit of this before I hit the gym. So just a little tiny bit. About right there. That's perfect. Okay. And then, like I said, I ran out of my Young Living protein powder. So I have backup. This is a Shakeology protein powder. Yeah, you can't really see that. Oh. Nah, it's too, it's too bright, it's too bright, but Shakeology is a really popular company. Um, this is my backup if I don't have it. This is exactly one scoop, so we'll throw this in and we'll blend it up. Okay. I'm gonna drink a little bit of this. See, like, my shakes used to be, if you can see this, my shakes, it's about right here. They used to be really high. And I found that just absolutely destroyed my energy. I was tired. This is a perfect amount for me, right? It's not even near the max line. It's just right below, like not even halfway of this. It's about a quarter. Um, and I'll drink this and then about 30 minutes to 45 minutes later, I'll go hit a cardio workout. So take a little sip of this. Ooh, perfect. Just like that, we're finished. So that was actually really good. It was a perfect hit of everything. Like that's what it was like a perfect consistency. It wasn't too much banana, it wasn't too much peanut butter, it wasn't too much strawberry. It was a perfect taste of everything in here. Um, so I'll see you guys at the cardio workout. We're gonna do some jump rope and then we'll practice our handstands. See you guys there. Okay, so we made it to the park. We're at a beautiful park right now. We got the geese with us. Check it out, check it out. Can't really see it though. We got the lake. We got some geese right there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna practice some handstands first. We're gonna get into some L-sit practice and then we're gonna go into jump rope. So let's get right after it. I'm really upset I was not recording that. I had one of my longest holds using the planche bars. Let's try to go again though. Dang, let's go though, let's go. It's crazy, when I'm doing a handstand, I always tend to go forward and I fall forward and I can feel my wrist like has full control over that. So that's the thing, I've been doing handstands for a while now and especially with these, you can feel the control on your wrist. A lot of it is wrist movement if you have the capability to strengthen your wrist and come back and articulate it backwards, you can hold that handstand. What we're gonna do now is hit some hit cardio. So we're gonna go to some black top to do that, get a good sweat in. That was some good handstand practice, some good L-sit practice. My wrists are feeling it, my forearms are feeling it. I usually like to do this at least every day, about, you know, 15, 10 to 15 minutes, so not too long, but it's perfect. It's perfect practice because consistency, right? Practice does not make perfect, practice makes permanent. Let's go hit this hit workout. All right, we're now on some blacktop, so we're gonna hit this hit workout. We got the jump rope red ready. So let's do this. It's gonna be intense, but if I can get this untangled, look at this. What are these, headphones? Come on. Okay. What am I talking about? Let's hit this workout right now. Let's go. Let's go. All right. 
right, we just finished that workout. I'm literally, look at me, bro. I'm literally sweating so much. My hair is drenched. I had so much sweat in my eyes too. I had to stop at the end because I was literally burning my eyes. But the workout I did, for everyone that's wondering, it's a HIT workout. High intensity interval training. That's what HIT stands for. So what I did was 30 seconds normal jump rope, 10 second rest, very short rest. 30 seconds uh, uh, jumpy jacks. You'll see the clips here. 30 seconds buck kickers of jumping rope and then 30 seconds of buck kicker normal or body weight and then 30 second high knees jump rope then 30 second high knees body weight so that's 10 minutes straight non-stop i'm actually going to link the uh the link of that workout up here whatever side it's going to come up on because i actually did a follow along on that on my youtube channel so if you want to join me on that it's 10 minutes straight non-stop uh obviously 10 second rest but go check that out now we are about to go hit this post-workout meal i'm hungry let me show you guys what I eat, and we'll talk a little bit while we do it. Let's go. See you guys there. Okay, okay, so we got our first big official meal. You saw me cooking it. We got the eggs with some spinach, some onion. Then we got some Brussels sprouts I had left over uh, from before. Probably, I think it was last night I made these. They were actually really good, they're raw, but I cooked them up on the pan and they taste amazing. So I got a bunch of that, some veggies and some protein here. So that's kind of what I try to do. And I wanna talk a little bit about that what I do specifically on my other days, right? So working out, you saw I just hit a workout, I hit a cardio workout. I really don't typically work out on Wednesdays. I kind of do some mobility, some like chill routine type stuff for like my body, some yoga. Um, but on my other days, like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, what am I doing? Monday and Thursday, I do something known as a push-pull workout. So I'm doing upper body push exercises, push-ups, tricep extensions, etc. all calisthenics. I try to direct it towards calisthenics. Thursday, I'm doing things like pool workouts, so pull-ups, uh, body weight road pull-ups, all different types of stuff like that for upper body. Tuesday is legs, quads. So yesterday, my quads are destroyed right now, and they're gonna hurt even more tomorrow. I know that, because Tuesday, yesterday, I did a quad workout. It was killer. And then Friday, I'll do hamstring and glute focus for mainly calisthenics is what I try to focus on, but I do a mix of uh, weightlifting as well. I'll actually leave my website in the link in the description below. You can follow my eight week program for shredding, right, while building lean muscle. This program is awesome. I also give in my nutrition plan in there and I throw in mindful tips that you can do for your lifestyle. So check that out. I'll leave that the link in the description below. So also, that's great and all working out, but what about my kitchen, right? What about in the kitchen? That's like so important. So what I try to do, and you, as you can see here, is every day I do my best to eat clean. I think that's the best takeaway for keeping a lean physique, right? All Mostly all year round, right? That's like, keep this lean physique all year round because I'm choosing consciously, choosing correct foods when I'm buying, right? And then when I cook them, I'm preparing the foods, right? I'm taking care when I'm preparing them. I'm eating my food, right? I'm eating my food. Of course I'm eating my food, but you know what I'm saying? I'm really being conscientious about the food that I'm choosing, right? I rarely have processed food. Yes, I do go out and eat. Yeah, Chinese food is my kryptonite. I'll tell you that right now. It is my kryptonite. Like, I love sweets. That is so true. But for the most part, I'm eating clean. I really only eat clean. Another thing you'll see throughout this day is that I don't binge eat. I eat, I understand what I ate, and then I kind of take a little step back and I'm just like, okay, I acknowledge what I ate and then I go do something else, right? I'm not crazy binge eating. Um, you'll see some stuff later today. We're going to make some pretty good meals. Of course, I got to make some good meals, you know, as I'm recording here. We're going to dive into this and eat this. So... Yeah, let's go right in. I know this looks amazing. Let's go. We're done. That was amazing. That was really good. It filled me, honestly. It was a big meal, especially the Brussels. It actually filled me a lot. That was a lot of Brussels sprouts. But I was looking down at my phone, and I saw that I got a package notification. 
I think this is what I think it is, and I'm really, really excited. I'm about to go grab this real quick, and I'll show you guys the unboxing because this is this is unexpected right now. I'm this is exactly what I think it is. I'm so hyped. I'm so excited. But let's go. Let's go. Oh, let's go. It is exactly what I thought it was. I ran back down to get this package at the office. Titan Fitness on the front. Okay, okay. We got some rings. Calisthenic rings. Oh, I'm hyped. This is so cool. Look at this. I, I'm, when I saw the box, I'm like, there's no way. This thing way too small. Got a little card in here. What's this? Thank you for your order. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you for your service. Look at this. Big ring. Oh, we're going to go crazy now. We go crazy. Kind of want to try these out today. Look at these. I might wait. I might wait for tomorrow, but this is cool. This is cool. We're going to go. We got a lot to do. We got a lot to do. Awesome. Well, you saw what was in the box. This is what I was hyping over. But I'll see you guys at the next meal. It's probably going to be like a light little meal, a light little snack. So see you guys there. Okay, we are back with, we are back with our mid day meal so it's about midday what i typically do is kind of have a snack meal i think it's more of a meal it's really filling but it's really really good it tastes great it's very simple to make too i'm gonna walk you guys through it so first i got some oats here and i got a banana so this is kind of like a um i don't know what i'd call it like i don't know an oat like uh there's a name to it i forget the name of it but let's just get right into it so you take a full banana and i'm gonna put the uh the calories, uh, the current you know calories I'm at right now, my current caloric intake. So we got a banana. We just gonna smash it up. We gotta smash the banana up, all right? Just like this. I'm gonna do a little bit. Of this. I gotta get the gotta get the measuring cup too. So one second. Try to smash this banana. Okay. Okay. One banana. All right. Now one second. Toss your banana to the side, unless you want to eat the peel. Uh, you know, good fiber. Take your oats, okay? A cup of oats. Mm, drop about there. Got a cup of oats. Sometimes you play with it, cause like, if I put a cup in right there, it might've been a little too much. So honestly, I'm gonna dial back, and I'm only gonna do, I'll add a little bit more. That's about a half a cup of oats, so. We'll go half a cup of oats, and that's the perfect, you always wanna go with small first, right? Before you dump everything right in, cause that would've just been awful, all right? And then what you do is, I'm gonna have to clean that up later. Then what you do is you take some protein powder. So like I said, I ran out of my other protein powder, so I got this Shake Packet, Shakeology, and this is one scoop, like I said, the other one's one scoop, but this one is chocolate flavor, so I'm actually going to, add protein to this. I made this in one of my other wor um, workouts, my other videos, when I trained like Tom Holland for a day, I'll tag that up here. I think it's this side. Tag that up there, so add some protein powder. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, this is gonna be fire. I'm gonna have to clean that up too. Okay, so now you mix it up again. So currently it'd be looking like that. Then we're gonna throw it in the microwave for a minute. Be right back. All right, so the video cut because my uh, camera is full, but like I said, I added a tablespoon of peanut butter in here and I mix it up. So we're gonna throw that PB to the side and then basically we're just gonna finish up with half a cup of berries. Focus? Be of your choice. It's anything, you know, you could use raspberries. I'm just throwing in some berries here. So about a half a cup of that. Have a couple. Throw them berries in there. Okay, it's looking good, okay. We're gonna have to show you guys this close up. There it goes. So we can take a bite of this. You'll see, I'll link it up here somewhere of the, um, the calorie, my caloric intake. I got right here on my phone. Uh, you'll see that. But let's dive in. Whew. Mmm. This is amazing. I I don't know what I call it. Um, I don't know, like a like a bowl, some kind of oat bowl, oat bowl, right? With some drop, with some fruit on top, frozen fruit. 
It's all about that frozen fruit. So try that out. I'll see you guys at the next big meal, okay? We got some good meals coming. Stay tuned. All right, what's good? We are back in the kitchen for meal number three, right? Meal number three, the biggest meal of the day, which is dinner. This one's awesome. I actually have a recipe here by Fitman Cook. Shout out to Fitman Cook. It is a creamy, dairy-free Dijon salmon and spinach. Ooh, the picture on this looks amazing. It's actually very simple to make. I'm gonna do a walkthrough of what I am doing for this meal, and you guys are gonna see some clips going through of you know me making it. So this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna have some salmon, which is thawing out right now, on a cutting board, and I'm gonna season it with some sea salt and some pepper, okay? I'm also gonna have a pan on the side heating up, and what I'm gonna do is first sear the salmon skin side up for about two to three minutes, okay? So I'm gonna sear this for two to three minutes. I'm gonna take it out of the pan after that, Okay, I'm not gonna cook it all the way. This is actually noted in the recipe. I'm not supposed to cook it all the way because later on this comes in handy. So take it off the pan and I'm gonna make the sauce now, the Dijon sauce. So reducing the heat, I'm gonna add garlic, coconut milk, Dijon, and thyme. Okay, all to the pan, stir it up. And then it says I can add arrowroot, which is like a powder if it's like too liquidy. So maybe I'll add arrowroot to the actual mixture uh, with some water to actually make it more of like a dense uh, liquid. And then, right after that, I'm gonna add some spinach. So I'm reducing the heat because spinach does cook really, really quickly. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of spinach in there for that greens. And then I'm gonna throw back in the fish, cook it for three to four more minutes, and boom, we are done. Just like that, that's gonna be the recipe. I'm excited to start this. I'll see you guys when I eat it. Let's go. Okay, okay, hold on. Y'all seen it, I know y'all seen it. This is, it. this, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but this might be one of the best meals. Not, like the salmon itself, like I have made. This is, I tried a little bit of the sauce and I'm already like, I'm, I'm just diving in right now. Let me, hold up, I'm diving in right now. Yo, I need someone here to try this right now. This is intense. This is good, I, you see I topped it with some rice, so. It turned out perfect. This is like amazing with the sauce, the Dijon, the hit, everything, everything's good. I love it so much. Like this is a meal I'm gonna keep on making. I literally love this. You'll see, I'll tag somewhere up here the, um, the cal caloric intake that I'm at right now. Uh, you'll see that tagged up top. I also, when I was shopping, I grabbed some of this hum, which is like a probiotic drink. Um, so I drink this time and time again, but I'll, I'll also add this to um, the chart there. Mango, never tried this one. Pretty good, actually. Almost ran through the whole thing in the store. I was so thirsty. So, I'm going to finish this meal, and I'll see you guys at a dessert. Oh, this dessert's going to be good, too. Let's go. Okay, so now we have finished the big meal of dinner. That was an amazing meal. And you already know we have to, we have to have dessert for this video. You know, I already got to throw on some dessert. Today, you already see the ingredients. They're over there. Another Fitman Cook inspired recipe, shout out to him. We got quick peach cobbler baked oats. Oh, this picture look good. I'm, I'm excited to make this one. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go through what I'm doing here and you're gonna, guys are gonna see some clips of me already have cook, cooked it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is with the skillet right behind me, I'm gonna add some butter in there. Then I'm gonna add the peaches, the sugar, the lemon zest, the lemon juice, cinnamon and a pinch of sea salt all right that's going to cook for about four to six minutes until the peaches get a little caramelized and a little caramel look and then after that <clears throat> while they're cooking uh separately i'm going to mix up the dry ingredients and then i'm going to add the almond milk the egg and olive oil and mix that all together okay folding that into the peaches so i'm putting that into the peaches and then i'm mixing it up okay so from there i'm going to cover it and then i'm going to bake it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes all right, and then I'm gonna take it out. Uh, and then, yeah, that looks like it's pretty much it for the final three or five minutes of cooking. Yeah, that's it. And I wish I had some Greek yogurt or some ice cream because it looks like that goes perfect with it. But hey, I'm fine with just eating this because it looks amazing. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys at the final meal today. Let's go. Okay, okay. We made it. 
You seen the you seen the footage? You seen the footage? We got it right here. Peach cobbler oat oat baked, okay? I'm gonna dive right in. I'm not wasting no more time. Okay, this looks good. Stop playing with me. This is good. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna become a, I'm gonna become a cooker. I'm gonna become a cooker right now. Now this is really good. This is actually amazing. But I want to go over a couple of things before we end this video, and then I'm gonna dive right in and finish this, and probably have a little more. You know what I mean? But I want to go over, and you'll see I'll link it up here, which is gonna be the chronometer, the app that tracks my calories. As you can see, uh, what to note here is that this. This meal, this whole day that I went through, this is not like a typical day, obviously. I'm, I want to be honest. Like I'm doing this for uh, entertainment, for the video. There are days where like I eat like you know regular meals like chicken, rice, broccoli, eggs, shake. That's like a typical thing. But the thing to take away here is that I try to meet a calor my caloric deficit, like my caloric equivalent to maintain my weight. So I weigh 146 right now, 147. I'm in between that. I want to maintain. That's all I want to do. So I just try to reach and meet that caloric uh, balance right there. So as you can see, we really just, we're only like 100 calories left in our um, meal and our diet. And I'm really not going to eat anything else after this. Maybe I'll have like a little more of this obviously, but that's what I try to do. Another takeaway here is that I drink a lot of water throughout the day. That's key. I drink so much water throughout the day. Like it's con I'm constantly hydrating myself. So keep that in mind as well. That's something throughout my plan. And if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, before I dive into this, cause it's like in my nostrils right now and I'm like tempted. Before I end this video, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. And if you are not subscribed, make sure to subscribe. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay happy out there. Stay healthy. I love each and every one of you. And stay cold. Peace, y'all. Love you guys.